so hello friends welcome back to channel today we will discuss about the main files for every user okay so if you do if you log in as a user and you do ls la in users home directory you will find four files what are these four files bash history bash logout bash profile and bash rc okay what's the bash history see as we know when we are running a history command we comes to know whatever command we have executed using that user okay like if i do history i'm able to see okay this many command i have executed but this history is getting stored in bash history okay so that's the use of bash history this is the bash logout uh, file which like if i want to perform any task while doing a log off from this system Okay. Currently, I am logging as a Amit user. If I want to log off, and at the time of log off, I, if I want to do execute anything, so I have to use this command. Okay, this file. Bash profile. It's a profile like uh, when user logged in to any of the system, this profile get read and whatever component and whatever fields are there, which will get loaded into a system. Then we are having bash rc for aliasing. We'll go one by one. Okay, so cat dot bash underscore history okay we are having the history records here okay so now i will run pwd ls if i run history command this will be here pwd ls and history but if i cat this file this entry will not present over there see it is showing so once you logged out it will get update okay now second file we are having bash underscore logout so it is not having any entry so if you want to perform any task you can append here then we are having bash profile this is profile of this amit user so what we are having it is showing if bash rc is present load that and path path variable it is getting load okay now why it is uh, using bash rc because alias is what we are defining for a particular user we are putting in a bash rc so let's see what is dot bash rc so bash rc is already saying if etc bash rc is there load that thing close there is no specific uh, alias is assigned here okay so now we'll see ls hyphen la dot bash star these are the four file so we'll i will delete i will update all the things one by one so first we'll see the logout get dot bash underscore logout okay so this is not having anything i will append this thing vi echo i want to print uh, good by whenever i have logged in logged out okay so let me become amit user again why i am doing this because if i log out again my system will i have to log in again so if i do w okay and id is amit so what we have done we have append the dot bash underscore logout okay if i log out see it is showing goodbye as soon as we hit the logout button or logout command or control d to log out this file is getting read it and whatever task we are uh, like assigned here it will get executed that's the bash logout okay again let me log in clear my skin lsfla dot bash star now history i have already told you log out now profile so cat dot bash underscore profile so what profile is doing it's loading the aliases if there and loading the path so what is this path is having it passes having host name and everything and if we see bash rc 
is not having any aliases assigned it is taking the global definition okay so it will do ls hyphen l ls hyphen la okay because those are hidden file i will remove all this four okay rm dot bash star ls hyphen la so i have removed by mistaken or out of curiosity if someone has removed and i will log out okay once i log in again what will happen see my current username host name whatever the default uh, variables are there it does not get it loaded but still we ls hyphen la dot bash bash history came okay because whenever we exit from the server it will get loaded so what is bash history is having bash underscore history see we are able to see we have deleted then ls hyphen la and history if you do it is showing current session bash history okay but if you run the history command you are able to see these many nine or ten command which we have executed okay post clearing the bash history it got started recording that thing and it automatically coming up so now what are others so if you are getting this type of thing and uh, if you see lsf and la dot bash only bash history is there and profile is not there so what you can do cp slash etc skull uh, dot bash star okay so let's go to this directory first slash etc skull okay ls hyphen la it is having logout profile and bash rc okay so that's the profile we require in our current system currently i am logging as a amit user so it will do cp okay where i am pwd okay we will do cp dot bash star to home directory lsfnl cd homed okay lsfnl dot bash star so we got all the things if i log out and log in again boom environment variable got loaded here from the my profile okay bash rc alias will get loaded history whatever history i am having that thing and earlier we have append this file dot bash logout now it got removed okay so that's the four thing now we'll i will become a root user first we'll go by a root user ls hyphen l hyphen l dot bash star every user should have these four otherwise you will get a prompt like bash environment variables and this thing will not get loaded so history we already know like we'll see is root is running any extra thing no and what's the profile root user is having oh sorry cat and okay but cat is having if bash rc is there load that thing correct otherwise and load the environment variable correct so why we are loading bash rc for the bash rc for the aliasing so from a root user we are having alias like rm cp and mv these command variables are uh, uh, these commands aliases are created okay and for go global it is pointing to etc bash rc so what we'll do ls hyphen la dot bash so if interview will ask you what are the files which is like whenever user get created what what are the four file get created in our use home directory these are the four file bash history to maintain the history bash logout is like while doing the logout if you want to perform anything it will will append that file it will get executed bash profile to load the environment variables and uh, environment variables and path okay and 
bash profile is pointing to bash rc to read the all the aliases if local aliases is there that will become on a priority local aliases is not there it will point to etc bash rc file okay so first preference is giving to local aliases then global aliases these are the four files okay and if your user is not having that four files and uh, it is showing the bash and these things hostname and these things are not there so you can do cd slash et skull okay in this if you do you will able to see all the three files are present there you can do copy and paste it will work as it is now let me switch to test user su switch user test test is not there let's see who else we are having tail slash etc pass wd we are not having user so we'll get user add test as you have test okay we'll see ls have an l a so logout profile bash rc history is not there because first command i will execute this i will log out and log in now ls hyphen la history came dot bash underscore history both the commands are there so there's a use of these four files if those are not present you can copy from slash it is a skulls directory okay it is very useful to maintain your aliases profile logout and history so what we'll do we'll append dot bash underscore logout okay so we'll do echo this should be in double quotes okay so if we do logout a message subscribe daily study so that's all for today's video uh, it got a bit lengthier keep this practice okay learn about more thing if you are having any question any query put in a comment box i will answer on those comments so keep practicing see you in the next video till then bye bye